Chapter 7 And it came to pass a in the fourth year of King Darius, that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, Ewan and Chisleu, when they had sent unto the house of God, Sherezer and Regim Malek, and their men to pray before the Lord, and to speak unto the priests, which were in the house of the Lord of hosts, and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself, as I have done these so many years? Then came the word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and suent month, you in those suent years, ye at all fast unto me, you unto me. And when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, did not ye eat for your cellus, and drink for your cellus? Should ye not hear the words which the Lord hath cried by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited, and in prosperity, and the cities thereof round about her, when men inhabited the south of the plain? And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and shew mercy and compassions your man to his brother, and oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine you ill against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken, and pulled away the shoulder, and stopped their ears, that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an atom in stone, lest they should hear the law, and the words which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass a, that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations, whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them, that no man passed through, nor returned. For they laid the pleasant land desolate. Chapter 8 Again the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and Uri man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If it be merryless in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be merryless in my eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will sum my people from the east country and from the west country. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall my people, and I will be their God, in truth and in righteousness. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Let your handies be strong, ye that hear in these days, these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. For before these dies there was no hire for man, nor any hire for beast. Neither was there any peace to him that went out, or came in, because of the affliction. For I said all men, Uri one against his neighbor. But now I will not be vento the residue of this people, as in the former dies, saith the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall prosperous, the ewine shall do her fruit, and the ground shall do her increase, and the hoen shall do their due. And I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. And it shall come to pass a, that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Iuda, and house of Israel, so will I saw you, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your handies be strong. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you, when your fathers broke me to wrath, saith the Lord of hosts, and I repented not. So again how I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem, and to the house of Iuda, fear ye not. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye, Uri man, the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. 
and let none of you imagine you will in your hearts against his neighbor, and lose no false oath. For all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. And the word of the Lord of hosts came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth moneth, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth shall be to the house of Yudai and gladness, and cheerful feasts. Therefore lew the truth and peace. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, It shall yet come to pass, eh, that there shall come people, and the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let verses go speedily to pray before the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts, I will go also. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those dies it shall come to pass, eh, that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, you and shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a you, saying, We will go with you, for we how heard that God is with you. Chapter 9 the burden of the word of the Lord in the land of Haderach, and Damascus shall be the rest thereof. When the eyes of man, as of all the tribes of Israel, shall toward the Lord, and Hamath also shall border thereby, Tyrus and Zidon, though it be very wise. And Tyrus did build herself a stronghold, and heaped Phoebesilier as the dust, and fine gold as the mire of the streets. Behold, the Lord will cast her out, and he will smite her power in the sea, and she shall do it with fire. Ashkelon shall see it, and fear, because also shall see it, and be very sorrowful, and Ekron, for her expectation shall be shamed, and the king shall perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. And a bastard shall dwell in Asht, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. And I will take away his blood out of his mouth, and his abominations from between his teeth. But he that remaineth you in he shall for our God, and he shall be as a governor in Judah, and Ekron as a Ibusit. And I will encamp about mine house because of the army, because of him that passeth by, and because of him that returneth. And no oppressor shall pass through them any more, for now how I seen with mine eyes. Royce greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, he is just, and hawing salutation lowly, and riding Phanonus, and Phana colt, the foal of Anus. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem, and the batel bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace unto the heathen, and his dominion shall from sea you unto sea, and from the Rayur you unto the ends of the earth. As for thee also, by the blood of thy coinant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, you in today do I declare, and I will render double than to thee. When I how bent Hyuda for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised VP thy sonies, O Zion, against thy sonies, O Greece, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. And the Lord shall be seen o'er them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. And the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall dure, and subdue with sling stones, and they shall drink and make a noise as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls, and as the corners of the altar. And the Lord their God shall saw them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted VP as an insignif on his land. For how great is his goodness and how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young men cheerful and new wine the maids. Chapter 10 Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and chew them showers of rain, to yuri one grass in the field. For the idols how spoken vanity, and the dayuners how seen a lie, and how told false dreams, they comfort in vain, therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. Mine anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats. For the Lord of hosts hath visited his flock the house of Judah, 
and half made them as his goodly horse in the batel. Out of him came forth the corner, out of him the nail, out of him the batel bow, out of him Uri oppressor together. And they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the batel. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them, and the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Iuda, and I will saw the house of Iosif. And I will bring them again to place them, for I how mercy upon them. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their hearts shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it, and be glad, their hearts shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them and gather them, for I how redeem them. And they shall increase as they how increased. And I will sow them among the people. And they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children, and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt, and gather them out of Assyria. And I will bring them into the land of Galid and Lebanon, and place shall not be found for them. And he shall pass a through the sea with affliction, and shall smite the was in the sea. And all the deeps of the Reuer shall dry VP, and the pride of Assyria shall be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk VP and down in his name, saith the Lord. Chapter 11 Open thy doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may dure thy cedars. Howl, fire tree, for the cedar is fallen because all the mighty are spoiled. Howl, O ye oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled, a voice of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of Iordan is spoiled. Thus saith the Lord my God, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them, and hold them salus not guilty, and they that sell th say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But lo, I will delir the men Uri one into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not delir them. And I will feed the flock of slaughter you in you, O poor of the flock. And I took Ventomi two stays, the one I called Beauty, and the other I called Bandies, and I fed the flock. Three shepherds also I cut off in one monith, and my cell loathed them, and their cell also abhorred me. Then said I, I will not feed you, that that dieth, let it die, and that that is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let the rest eat, you re one the flesh of another. And I took my staff, you in beauty, and cut it asunder, that I might break my quenant which I had made with all the people. And it was broken in that day, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. And I said unto them, If ye think good, do me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of cilier. And the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, a goodly price that I was prized out of them. And I took the thirty pieces of cilier, and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Then I cut asunder mine other staff, you and bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Iuda and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. For lo, I will raise thee a shepherd in the land, which shall not visit those that be cut off. Neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat, and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idol shepherd that lueth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried vipi, and his right eye shall be turly darkened. Chapter 12 the burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, 
which stretcheth forth the hoans, and layeth the foundation of the earth, and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling vinto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege both against Iuda and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite Uri horse with astonishment, and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Iuda, and will smite Uri horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in the Lord of hosts their God. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf, and they shall do all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left, and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, you and in Jerusalem. The Lord also shall saw the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of God, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Iuda. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as Dawud, and the house of Dawud shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day, that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will power upon the house of Dawud, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his one lison, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem, as the mourning of Hadadrimen in the valley of Mejidin. And the land shall mourn, Uri family apart, the family of the house of Dod apart and their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart, the family of the house of Louis apart, and their wives apart, the family of Shimei apart, and their wives apart, all the families that remain, Uri family apart, and their wives apart.